Hi there and welcome to Getting Clean on the Prairies. So in this video I am just going to go through some of my seeds here and I am participating in the first ever first annual Canadian Seed Challenge 2021 and I just want to do a quick shout out to the the two uh, YouTube friends of mine who have um, started this seed exchange and got it going and that's Hickory Hickory Croft Farms and Lori's World so hi hello to you guys and thanks for getting this going I'm excited to be part of it uh, so what's uh, this all about so um, what's happened is we've just put it out there to all the YouTube gardeners in Canada and um, also subscribers people who like to watch YouTube gardening um, channels and who wanted to participate and so we've randomly been given five names um, that I am to share some of my seeds with and I think we have to send them at least three varieties so I've been going through my seeds um, it's preferably ones that you've saved from your garden but I unfortunately have not become very um, good at that yet but I have a lot of nice um, seeds that are uh, purchased within my growing zone here in Western Canada and I've grown some of them last year in my garden some of them are new and I haven't tried them myself but I'm willing to share a few of them with with these folks and at the end of this video I'm also going to be um, doing a subscriber giveaway so make sure you stick around to the end and I'll give you the details on how to um, enter for some seeds so I was just gonna go through a few of them here I'm not gonna go through all of them but I do have a nice variety of tomato seeds here that I was um, some of them I grew last year some of them I'm just um, gonna try out this year one that I thought was um, kind of interesting looking hopefully you can see this it's called the dwarf wild Fred so this is an open pollinated tomato developed by uh, the dwarf tomato project I'm not sure what that means but a good producer of purple medium sized up to eight ounce beefsteak tomatoes and these are this contains 25 saskatchewan grown seeds so they are um, been raised here and collected here in saskatchewan it's a dwarf um, type tomato so I thought that one looks like an interesting one so that one's going to be available to my to my uh, receivers of seeds uh, another one that I haven't tried that I bought that I look pretty interesting it looks like it is some type of um, like a cucumelon it's an heirloom cucum cucumber small round yellow with a mild sweet f uh, flesh and it is very productive and its grow uh, maturity days are 55 so should be a good one to grow here in zone three um, I've got some peppers I'll, I'll list all these below in the uh, in the description for my uh, people that are um, going to be receiving these so they can let me know what they'd like one that I wanted to show you is one that I've grown indoors and I have some here these are paprika peppers and I've done quite a few videos I grew these um, hydroponically using the Kratky uh, method so they grew in water and this is my biggest one that I got but they were all this color that you can see on the package they were all very yellow when I harvested them I've had them sitting in this basket for a couple weeks and they are turning a beautiful red they smell wonderful and so I'm going to dehydrate them and grind them into some paprika pepper but I've I've been cutting them open here and collecting the seeds so if anybody would like some of those these are paprika peppers so those will be available this is another pepper that I uh, got that I have not grown yet but I think sometimes I just buy them because they look so pretty in the picture <laughs> but these are called a Aurora pepper they're a dwarf pepper plant with beautiful one and a half inch long peppers that change from pink 
to purple to orange and red as they ripen so sounds very uh, pretty and they also make a good um, uh, they're easy to grow in pots and can be brought into the winter as a house plant so that's a good one for us here in Saskatchewan when sometimes our growing season ends quickly with frost and you can save some of these plants that you have in containers and bring them indoors so um, they are a medium hot pepper and they are 65 days from transplant so those are available as well um, another I have some lettuces here another company that I, I get from that is in Manitoba I think Brandon or can't remember now it doesn't say on here but this company is called Heritage Harvest Seed and they specialize in rare and endangered heirloom vegetables flowers and herbs so I have some spinach I grew this last year long-standing spinach did very well I have some Cimarron lettuce which is just a, a leafy green lettuce and the other one that I thought was really nice and I have some here to show you is the Yugoslavian red butterhead lettuce I still have quite a few of those seeds left and I've also been growing them clinically this lettuce I'll just let you zoom in so you can see the leaves on it are real kind of a pretty uh, deep red color um, very pretty in your salads it's kind of just a loose leafy kind of like a, a butter crunch lettuce or um, similar to like this romaine here so I have some of those available I also have a some seeds um, watermelon and cantaloupe seeds that I have purchased these are from TNT seeds in Winnipeg Manitoba and we have the Minnesota midget cantaloupe 65 days and the watermelon sugar baby 75 days and I also picked up these the squash here I haven't grown it yet but I was kind of excited because it's um, it's a winter squash so something that's probably hardy here to Saskatchewan and it has a uh, a thick orange flesh taste that tastes like sweet potatoes so I thought that was sounded good because we can't grow sweet potatoes here or they're very hard to grow here because they have such a long growing um, time so excited to try this and we'll share that with somebody if they would like uh, some of those okay so everything here is um, grows well in zone three which is where I am and the five people that I have um, been given names of to uh, share my seeds with um, I'll just do a shout out to them some of them have their own YouTube channel some of them are just uh, participants in the seed challenge um, Carla P from Hay River Northwest Territories I looked up your growing uh, zone or your uh, days of growing days I guess and it looks like you have a very short growing period probably zone two maybe I'm, I'm assuming 88 days but uh, I'm sure some of these lettuces um, kale would do well there um, tomatoes if you have a greenhouse so I would love to uh, hear how the, you make out with these seeds once you get them Chris um, Chris Dixon White North Forge has a YouTube channel I'll put the link to his channel below so you can check him out he's in Clarezome Alberta um, it, just according to when I was looking online he's in zone of growing zone 4a could be wrong Chris you can let me know uh, Jonathan from Landmark Ontario uh, just told me to send him whatever seeds he doesn't care he just wants to be surprised so I will put together a nice package for you you have a growing zone looks like around 4b so a little bit longer season than three but probably very similar and um, what else do we have here oh it's in in your nature is another channel that I am exchanging seeds with and they are in Toronto so they have a nice long season there I think it believes it's around six or seven seven a growing zone 
and Joe and Sue from Joe and Sue's Off-Grid Adventure. Hello to you. They are in Arnston, Ontario. And I think a growing season pretty similar to mine as well. So I will be sharing all my seeds with you guys by email that you can choose from or uh, check them out on my description here below. And um, I'm looking forward to sending these off to these people and see how they make out in their gardens and excited to receive uh, some seeds myself from some of the other participants in this challenge. So that takes us to the, um, the other part of my video and that is the subscriber giveaway. Um, I've never done this before, so hopefully I don't screw it up. But um, I would love to give some seeds to uh, one of my subscribers. Um, I've been doing my YouTube channel now for about nine months since last spring I started and I'm just enjoying it so much and I'm uh, really appreciate all these people who are following me now and who like to comment on my videos and share their knowledge, their, their comments, their tips and um, it's been really great. So I really appreciate um, all of you who have subscribed and I would love to send you some seeds. So I picked out two and because they are, um, the names on them um, include Saskatchewan and I know that's a hard one to say and it's hard to spell. <laughs> so this is the Russian Saskatchewan tomato. I grew some of them hydroponically this winter. I have some videos showing them. They came out kind of like a large cherry sized tomato, but I think outdoors they would probably be a bit larger. Um, these are a mid-sized red tomato. Um, determinant, 60 days from transplant. And I will send this whole pack out to somebody if they'd like them. And I also have these watermelon called the cream of Saskatchewan. Um, I did plant a few last year in my garden and had an early frost and didn't uh, do too well. So I might steal a couple more seeds out of this pack, but I would love to send you these. And perhaps another one from this selection here that I'm going to show in the description. So to enter, um, just leave a comment and let me know what your favorite seed is to grow or which one of these seeds that I've uh, shared with you, you would like to have sent to you if you're the winner. And just end it with um, a little green uh, emoji for um, sprout. I think it's, it's called the sprout and the emojis or just put green sprout or just some emoji there so that I know that you um, were following me here in this video. And I'm gonna run this, uh, this giveaway in this video and the next video that I post. I'm not quite sure what that video is going to be, but it'll be in the next uh, week or two. So you can enter um, this video by commenting below and have a second chance in the next video to, uh, to get your name in twice. So please subscribe, share with your friends, uh, leave comments, and um, that is about it then for this video. So I hope that you um, will leave a comment below, of course, to get entered. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.